maybe already know my name. Welcome to the online lesson. I'm happy to meet you. Uh, Eva is your name, right? Yes. Yes. Can you shortly tell a little bit about yourself, your age and your studies? Twenty-one years old. Uh, I am. I am first year student uh, of Novosibirsk State Conservatory. Mm -hmm. uh, my professor is Marina Alexandrovna Kuzina. Yes, I have to turn the loudness. Wait a second. One, thank you. And tell me about your studies. What's your if your program right now for today will be the poem Elijak, right? From Isai. Yes. Why did you choose that piece? 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 Uh, we, uh, I and my professor decided that this uh, piece can uh, help uh, me to express the inner world yes. of, of, of mine. So of, of yourself. To have it and not only of yourself. yourself. Yes, wonderful. Um, that, that, that's a part of why Isa also choose to compose a piece like this. The, the, the uh, to compose a piece like a poem because he was able himself also to express himself better in this kind of form of composing. Do you know a little bit about the piece? Did you prepare? Yeah. 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 It was dedicated to Gabriel Fauré, and after it was released, uh, Chasson uh, wrote his own poem because uh, he was uh, very uh, touched and inspired yes, by right. mm -hmm. yes right um one thing behind the piece is the expression you talked about it already to express yourself um, what kind of expression is it in this piece i'm I, I like to talk to you a little bit about this because it's not only about your own expression but for sure also the expression of the composer uh, do you know about the circumstance uh, which tema did he write about in this poem Elysiac? There's a literature behind it which is very famous. Знаете ли вы скрытую программу этого сочинения и какое очень известное произведение использовалось в качестве источника вдохновения для нее? I have some ideas, but I'm not sure. I, I, I do not know it. Okay, no, no problem. I mean, it's very interesting to know something or more about the piece, also to find the expression and to learn from the piece itself. From it's a very um, extreme piece in 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 expression because of dynamic, because of colors, because of changing tempi, because of the syncopas, because of the speed and the slowness, and mostly here because of the G string, which we which we tune down to F, um, which brings a new color in in violin music actually, which is very beautiful. Uh, the the piece behind the meaning behind is Romeo and Julia, Romeo and Juliet, uh, Shakespeare. It's about the death of them um, at the end. And we have this very famous funebre in the middle, which I love to play and love to hear um, on the second page, um, which is so beautiful, deep and very soft and very calm and very intimate in, 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 it, in its expression and, and hard to play, actually, because it's so delicately pianissimo and, and extremely beautiful. So 
this is one thing behind it. it's a sad piece elijac means also a sad poem a sad meaning behind which is very yeah not very strong and obvious loud and virtuous but very intimate and very yeah yeah like we feel sometimes in the days um we don't know but we feel like insidely sad and this is part of the meaning of the piece i think you understood me right your english is is good you you can understand my words okay so we don't have to translate now okay um it, it's but, great but, but uh, the organizer asked uh, me to um yeah to to translate for the audience Elizabeth, oh, sure. ju just a few words sure sure i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, okay Источник, так как эта, эта пьеса действительно очень яркая, очень выразительная, очень контрастная в, во всех своих проявлениях выразительности, и в разнице э, динамической, артикуляционной, ритмической остроте, да, то, конечно, лучше всего и легче будет узнать, да, что это за первоисточник. А первоисточником э, это Ромео Джульетта Шекспира, э, которая... Говорится о жизни и смерти написано, и именно благодаря этому здесь такая контрастность проявляется. И здесь есть очень выразительные места, в частности, очень мрачные там, на второй, на третьей странице моменты, где ну, чуть ли не надгробное слово говорится. Вот. В общем, очень важно представлять первоисточник. Mm -hmm. да. uh -huh. Спасибо. Thank you very much for trans translating. <laughs> Thanks. We start. You can start, Eva, to play. Now, let's do um, detailed work. I will stop you very, maybe very early because I want to use the lesson for you also to give you some maybe new ideas. So I will stop you. Don't play through. I just stop maybe after the first page and then I will tell you something or maybe not. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Have fun to play.
Thank you. Wonderful. Bravo, Eva. Thank you very much. Um, I think I want to, for a teacher, it's always very interesting to start a lesson and I don't know you a lot. Um, interesting because sometimes we search on the wrong side. I, I, I think your feeling, you talked about your feeling, you want to find your feeling better on the violin. I think your feeling is on a, in, on a good position, actually. Uh, you feel a lot, you, you are able to express yourself. I much more think you should train your technique in parts of your sensitivity, um, not stability, but more the sensible or sensitive uh, way of touching your instrument. It's the bow, it's the way how you, you touch your bow, it's the way how you feel your strings, um, which is kind of hard now. You're a little bit too tough and too rough in the, in the left hand. That's why I think you don't find the expression which you want to find. I talk about lyrical, poetic, uh, soft sound, really a very soft sound, which this beginning needs. So I want to work on this point with you a little bit on the touch of your instrument. And I think then you will find a bigger color uh, richdom in your play. Um, intonation is one thema also, it's not in tune, um, but that's for me a step which you have now, which will get better if you get more relaxed in your violin play, the way how you touch your instrument. If you are too too heavy, intonation is, is not easy because we cannot correct anymore. And that's why um, you are a little bit too, yeah, yeah like, like biting too too much within the, in the strings and also the bow is too much only on the side of your first finger. We need you much more in the whole hand on the frog in the middle and on the top. I will work with you. Let me give you some ideas. Um, <clears throat> can you try the beginning again and try with a, it's a funny idea, which I teach a lot, but it is a very uh, explosive idea. You will see, try to Start the beginning and stand only on your left leg. You go to the left side of your body. You have your, your, your legs here is my fingers. You can see, and you go into the left knee, a little bit into the knee, just the left leg and the left knee, please. Uh, forget your right leg. Um, I'm not saying you have to stand like, like this, just straight and you, you give the body weight into the left knee. Can you try to show me this position once? Can you show me? Сейчас вас попросили а, опереться на левую ногу, да, и даже на левую пятку, и забыть о правой, да, и а здесь, так, если не ошибаюсь, не, не на весь палец, да, опираться, да, а всей поняла, рукой, да. And really um, overdo this now. It's not just a little bit, but go really into the left knee, yeah, really into it. Can you try? Show me. Left leg. Okay, thank you. And now please, you go to the right leg. Can you go to the right side? And really the whole EFA, the whole weight to the right side. And then please, EFA, tell me if you feel or hear a difference. Bravo, bravo. E even if we have Zoom here, um, the sound is for me, it's it's okay, but but even in Zoom, I can hear a difference. Can you hear a difference? Uh, uh -huh. Bravo. Which difference, Eva? Can you tell me? Uh -huh. When I'm standing on the uh, uh, right uh, leg and uh, foot, I uh, feel 
uh, that the weight it is, uh, that the sound is uh, uh, stronger and more heavy. Yes, and um, on the left leg, can she also explain what is the feeling on the left leg? А что случается, когда вы стоите на левой ноге? Usually I'm standing both uh, both legs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this, uh, the sound is not so uh, so deep. Right. Now, next um, idea right. to, to to see and to try is not only the sound, but she try again, please. Uh, if I try again, left leg. And now tell me, how do you feel the grab in the left hand? Is it heavy or light? And then compare with the right side. You can play both uh, after. Um, uh, in in a row, play play left side and play right side, and then compare the feeling of your left hand. How is the grab more light or more deep? Can you try again, left leg? Nice, very nice sound, bro. Um, can you tell me, can you feel a difference in the heaviness of grabbing left or right? What is better? When I stand on the right, Foot, the the left hand is uh, is more comfortable for the for the left hand. Bravo, and that's a phenomenon. Actually, it's a very easy trick. Um, I'm not saying that you have to move a lot. I'm not absolutely not. We should not move very much. We should stand on both feet in concert. But we have the possibility to stand on both feet and to have a little tendency right or left. If I want to play light. I go a little bit to the right side and I feel not so much pressure in my left hand. If I want to play good vibrato, for example, um, loud and good, I go left side. I feel more contact to the vibrato in, on the left side. But for example, for runs, if you play blah, 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 a run or something, I go to the right side because my left hand is getting more easy. And that's a miracle. I don't know why it is like that, but I found out in my work and it's, it's a very good trick to get more control left hand because we don't press so much yeah okay now try a next version you play this beginning again with piano and hello and um just feel the right leg as your center yeah as an idea of your center and feel now in music the next step let's talk about the music um it's a sad song we said it's a sad poem um it's sad because of the upbeats It's not only the color, it's the upbeat itself is very interesting. The upbeat is changing the mood. The first one and so we change the music with this upbeat. Yeah, always try to try to feel that if you go through, you play through, you always feel the upbeat. Always this upbeat is changing the mood of sadness. Okay. So right side and up Они каждый раз меняют настроение. Надо переводить. Да, то есть получается, да, что это очень легкий трюк. Я не говорю, что нужно постоянно менять положение. Да, то есть вы, конечно, должны в целом стоять на двух ногах. Но когда эта тенденция немножко меняется, то ну ощущения изменяются. То есть если вы уклоняетесь в право то левой руке играть будет, то есть это для легкого какого-то звука. А если вы на налево, да, ну, да, да понимаю, то есть тогда появляется вес, да, и это нужно для более тяжелого звука, да. И, соответственно, когда отклоняетесь вправо, да, то это можно играть пассажи, да, тогда меньше веса, вроде так. Uh -huh, все, а теперь за такты и вот с этим ощущением, да, пробуйте.
Beautiful, bravo. Bravo, very beautiful. Do you already feel a change in your sound? Can you feel a change? Can you hear a change in your yes. personal sound? Uh -huh. Which, can you explain, please? Объясните разницу. Uh -huh. Now it is uh, stronger, richer, not not so light, and it goes uh, to the audience and to the whole. Into Bravo! The whole yes, audience. because you you let your violin sound. Very often we we only press the sounds. We press sound into the violin very often, and we have to really to open the sound for the audience. But F holds because of the freedom of the strings. And this is good on the right side. If I'm standing on the right, I have much more freedom to let my sound speak. Yeah? We, we, go, we go to the next step of sensitivity. I wanted to teach you in sensitivity. It's a funny, it's a funny tema because we musicians, you and me, we all, we think we are very sensitive yeah? because we play music and we are so delicate in, in feelings, um, but very often we don't behave like that. I mean, on the instrument, we rap very hard, we are too strong in the left hand, and we are absolutely not sensitive on our instrument. And this I want to work with you on. Maybe you can translate first, and then I will show you an idea. Мы часто играем в струну, да, и не даем звуку, мы его не отпускаем, да, и этот вот небольшой трюк, он нам поможет в том, чтобы направлять а, звук а, в зал. А, мы сейчас говорим во многом именно о ощущениях, о чувствительности. Странно говорить с музыкантами о чувствительности, но часто в отношении своего инструмента они э, не слишком чувствительны. Именно этим мы сейчас занимаемся, наращиванием чувствительности. Um, it's an exercise you can make on every scale, you can make in etudes, you can also make in this piece of Ize. Um I found out one day it's very extre it's extremely important that we have the same touch um, in the bow and in the left hand, whether which dynamic we play. If I play piano, I have the feeling of piano in, in the grab of my hand here. I don't grab hard, I grab very soft, I have the feeling that I, I can grab very, very soft here, yeah? If I go to the left side, it's the same, I nearly grab, I nearly grab flageolet, I'm not touching very hard on my, my strings, yeah? So I get the same balance between left and right side, up exactly. So. I play piano here, I play piano here. When I play forte, it's the same, but we grab more. In forte, we have much more contact to the bow here. Yeah, We feel more the, the wood and the same in the left hand. I feel much more contact in the left hand. Try this once. Um, can you play one note, just a G, for example, like me? Boom, just play this G once and play extremely soft ones. Just piano pianissimo. Um, just one note. То есть говорилось о том, что должны быть одинаковые ощущения как в правой, так и в левой руке. То есть если вы играете пиано, да, то у вас легкий смычок, да, и левой рукой вы тоже берете ноту не до конца. И, соответственно, когда форт, у вас больше контакта со смычком и, конечно же, больше контакта со струной в левой руке. Сейчас просто сыграйте одну ноту соль, а так тихо, как только возможно. Beautiful, beautiful, bravo, Eva. Very nice. Um, if you go to the to the frog here, we feel more the the pinky finger, the little finger, and this ring finger on the frog. On the top, we feel more the first finger and the middle finger. Yeah. So the hand is always changing in this kind of move. Yes. Can you see my hand? Here I feel the first finger and on the frog I feel the little finger. It's a change of, of move in the hand. Yeah. 
this equation. And, and the way should be very smooth. It's not like a fast move, but it's a very smooth change. In the middle, we feel these fingers and on the frog these. Yeah? Try a very slow move. Bravo. Go on. Just go on like a... As an exercise, just do it. Вау, good. Да, то есть изменяется давление на одну половину руки и на другую, в зависимости от того, где находится рука. Yes. And watch my first finger in the ball. The, the first finger is not holding. It's like painting. It's painting. Yeah. We are. We all have the tendency to hold our bow too much like this, like together. You too, a little bit. Try to open it to paint the colors more. Первый палец. Он Bravo. Рисует, он рисует. Да. Bravo. Bravo. Yes, even on the frog, we can do this move. We can open. We can open the finger. Bravo. Eva? Bravo. Eva. Now, very good. The bow is super. Uh, the left hand now is, for example, too strong. You are too much in forte in the left hand. Try to have the same energy in both hands. Сейчас в левой руке было слишком много форте. Попробуйте одинаковую энергию использовать в правой и в левой руках. And open. Bravo. Bravo. Look, we, we come to a very interesting point in practicing. Very often we practice because we want to get stable, strong. Um, we don't want to make mistakes, so we try to avoid the mistakes. And this leads us or this, yeah, this leads us to, to get nervous because we feel, wow, well, I don't want to make a mistake and I have to be strong. So we start to hold too much. And you could see now in this exercise, um, it's a little bit shaky, right? It's not stable. It's a little bit whoa, like this, fragile, okay? Can you feel? And that's a good point, um, Eva. It's a good point to be shaky for a while also, not to control the system. If, I want, if I'm nervous, one teacher told me one day, okay, if you're nervous, just press hold the violin, make vibrato, and then nobody will hear. But I didn't feel well. I felt very bad. So I, I, I learned to open this kind of fragility, and then you will feel something behind that fragility. You will find a big impression of your expression. Мы часто, когда занимаемся, мы занимаемся стабильностью, да, а для того, чтобы быть уверенными, мы часто давим, и это все приводит к нервозности, к зажатости, да. Иногда нужно а, а, тренироваться в обратном направлении, да, искать а, свободу, да, и хрупкость какую-то, потому что в этих красках тоже очень важный выразительный эффект, да. Yes, thank you. Um, Eva, do you understand my idea? Yes, you know this feeling? Do you know this feeling that we try to stabilize, that we try to be strong, and then we, we at the end we are nervous because we feel, we don't feel safe in this piano, pianissimo. You know this feeling? Знакомо ли вам это чувство, когда вы очень сильно напрягаетесь для того, чтобы быть стабильной, и в результате очень нервное состояние даже в пиано? I think uh, this um, feeling comes uh, when you must be the best, uh, when you do the, you, you are trying to do your best and then it comes. Yeah, so she knows it. Um, uh, that's great to know. That's what we all know. And we try to be strong and then it doesn't suit to the music. Uh, let's now try again the piece. We talked a lot now about this. Try to be very fragile. Try to be nervous. Try to be extremely poetic and extremely sad ones. You can be nervous. You can also make mistakes. I don't care. But try to find this position of extreme sensitivity. Yeah. 
сейчас начнем сначала и постарайтесь сыграть эту пьесу как можно более хрупко, может быть, действительно нестабильно, да, несколько, несколько нервно. То есть не будете сейчас ошибок, да? поищите выразить yes, yes. И экс и экстремальную грусть, да, сейчас найдите и меланхолию в, yes. в начальных фразах. If, if I, what is the dynamic in the beginning? Динамика какая? Uh, в начале. Ну, вообще пиано же. Пиано. А? Пиано. Uh, ну, скажите, пожалуйста, профессор Мили говорил, что он начинает немного громче. But, uh, uh -huh. We agreed with my professor that we will begin a little bit uh, uh, stronger than piano. Yes. That's a very good decision. It's a very practical decision also for concerts because of the sensitivity. Very good. You, if you can do and try a lot in your life. Please now try to be extremely soft ones, to let the violin sound. What you told me now on the right foot, the violin sounds easily. Yeah? Try to play extremely soft like he wants us. I want to hear it and maybe we will still hear you very present. Это очень мудрое решение, но сейчас по попробуйте на левой ноге. На, ой, на, да, на, на правой. Bravo, very good. Important, important is the upbeat always. The upbeat is very important, not so much the one. We need much more of this auftakt, uh, upbeat in the music. Um, if you, can you try again? Okay. The same here. Also, the auftakt is the crying moment. What I said before, he's crying with these upbeats. Yeah, bravo! The beginning was great. Did you hear that it's carrying more? Did you hear that? Yes, that's one idea. We start with the auf with this auftakt, and the F is just a result. It's not a pressure. It's not. It's not a pressure, yeah? It's a result of the auftakt. It's a result. Yeah, the same here. On Auftakt, the upbeat is giving the line. Yeah. Do you understand my idea? It's like you paint something and then it's just arriving. Yeah. It's not but we paint Okay, try it. Together with piano, please. Yes, you know, yes. Yes, bravo, bravo. And feel, feel what we talked about. Feel the sensitivity of your dynamic in the left hand. Now, again, I can see you grab a little bit too much. Be very easy in the grab because we have the piano dynamic here. There's I don't grab hard, it's soft and soft, yeah? I, I still want to talk about the upbeats. Um, we are used too much to feel the one ding, go, rom, bom, bo, rom, bo, too much the music like this always, yeah? I think the composers were very clever to write, for example, la, rom, up and doi, rom, and down. And this means something for us as a musician. It's not only to show the one but to have the atmosphere made by the upbeats the upbeats are so important to to change something you understand my idea okay try again 
Мы часто привыкли к тому, что у нас главная э, сильная доля, но здесь именно затакты, разные затакты, идущие то вверх, то вниз, они каждый раз меняют настроение, они ответственны за настроение. Браво. Right leg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, now I want Eva shortly to explain me. Can you can you understand my ideas of energy of changing? Can you tell me how do you feel with that, or is it complicated for you? Что вы думаете насчет моей идеи об изменении веса в руке держащий смычок? Для вас это сложно? То есть изменилось ли как-то ваше ощущение? То есть как как вы чувствуете себя относительно этой теории? Кардинально ничего не поменялось. Ну, может быть. Звуки чуть-чуть тоже. Ну, кардинального ничего нет. А принципиально it uh, hasn't changed too much, but something is a, in the sound I feel. Yes, um, but, but the question was if she is understanding the idea what I'm talking about of, of, of giving more and less because still uh, if you do very beautiful, but still you grab in one kind of uh, um, power you we always have to release if i play for example lorom if i praise i grab less more if i'm doing for example loud and diminuendo i grab more and less you understand that's what i want you to try a little bit yeah Try again, because that's a very sensitive point also for me, not easy because I don't know you. I, it would be much easier to be in your hall to show you, but you try very good. Try to understand this energy question. Bravo, very good. If you have the... For example, diminuendo here means diminuendo also in your uh, right hand. In the in this point, we grab into it and we go out a little bit. Yeah. You, now you did it. Did you hear the change? A little bit. Did you hear that you had more resonance? Стало должно быть больше резонанса, когда вы так будете. Try again. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Your vibrato now starts to get more light. Can you feel that? Did you see that your vibrato, did you feel? It is more round now, it starts to get more light. Super, bravo. Now I go to the next point. Um, the next point is the vibrato. If we have a fast vibrato or a slow vibrato, it is very important to have it, uh, to use it in, a, in the music like this. Again, I, I tell you, we talk about sensitivity. Um, if we have a slow bow, yeah, we have something like a slow also vibrato on the not so fast vibrato, a very relaxed vibrato. If we have a faster bow or a louder bow, we can have a faster vibrato also. That's something we need also in this piece. Yeah, the beginning is not like very fast vibrato because it's a soft piece moment and a slow bow moment. Yeah, we have a very slow bow here. Yeah, um, if you go on in the piece, you need more and more this fast kind of vibrato. Now try to play again and feel the vibrato speed as something which is combined with a musical phrase or dynamic. This one is a very fast vibrato compared with the beginning, right? Um, in the beginning we have this slower vibrato and here 
we take a very fast report. Okay, bravo. You are very talented in this, I can see, and you are extremely good in expressing yourself. I don't think you should learn to express. You need new techniques to express. And this is, for example, this bow thing and the vibrato question. Yeah. Um, the first F, if a th is faster than I talk about the vibrato. Yeah, the vibrato in the A on the A is slower because we play a little bit less loud, right? Vibrato меньше, потому что мы играем тише. То есть требуется координация между правой рукой и левой рукой, между скоростью смычка, да, и между динами между динамикой и между вибрато. Это все работает в комплексе. Is it is it also is it also your idea, Eva, to play la dum bum, bu dum bum, a little bit softer the second, or do you want more the second? Нет, это ваша идея, да, что вы играете первую фа, вы играете громче, да, аля аля тише, или вы хотите сделать аля более громким? Нет, я должна быть ну не громче, чем перед. The, the A uh, sh sh shouldn't be uh, too loud. Yeah. yeah, right. The F is louder than the A, right. So you can show with the vibrato speed. La ra rom is faster speed. La rom bu is a slow vibrato on this A. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean the beginning. Sorry, the Начали. beginning. Начали. Начали. Nope. Bravo. Stop. It's very good. Stop. Stop. Bravo. Uh, what's your phrase? You want to play Lorombi, Lorombo, less, right? And then your What's your idea here? Is it coming or is it going away? Уходите или приходите? И то и другое, но both at the same time. Yes, bravo. So we have a little high points here, and this is less. And now we start new. Right? We go again. Is it your idea? And you have the the goal here, right? Is it your idea, Eva? Okay, bravo. So show me, show me this idea with, with vibrato speed. Yes. No. Super. Super. Um, don't worry. I always work very slow and very detailed. So don't worry. I want to help you and you make better and better. I like a lot. And um, no, you play a diminuendo and that's also good. What does Isai write here? Can you tell me? I forgot. I don't have the score here. Right. It's only piano, right? Yeah. Yes, but you can do this little diminuendo. It's a, it's just an extension. I, you, you can do it. Yes, it's no problem. But I just want to uh, tell you that you, you don't play like I showed you before. You make a diminuendo, and that's very beautiful. So the vibrato has to get more and more and more slow. Yeah, I would not fire so much. Yeah. То есть не разжигайте здесь огонь, да? Уменьшайте вибрато вместе с громкостью. Yes, bravo. So, again, this vibrato at the end, very slow. Very, very wise and sad and very beruhigt, we say, um, like uh, not, not with fire. Yeah, uh, very, very beautiful. Now, the next step, um, if I don't forget to stand on your right foot, please, you forget sometimes. Uh, the next step, concentrate on this point. We have the right foot. We have this 
idea in the bow. We have the vibrato speed for musical phrases. And now we have the bow speed also for musical ideas. If I play loud in this piece, if I want to play louder, I have a faster bow. If I, for example, I want to, to play loud, I would take faster bow. If I want to play soft, I take a very slow bow. You understand? We have we have a lot of possibilities with the bow speed to show the dynamic which we play. Yeah, this in the beginning is not a good example now because it's all piano. But you can still show what we said. The first is a little bit louder, second a little bit softer, and then diminuendo means so, slow bow. Can you try this? Right flute. Parameter скорости смычка. Да? То есть, если э, громкие, э, если играем громко, да, то быстро. Ну, yeah. Yes, bravo. Try again. Stop, try again this. At the end, it's not a fast. You did... Again, we now we said we make a diminuendo, right? Yes, this is bravo. This is also expression. It's a technique to express. I just want to show you in this little lesson a lot of ideas how to express technically. Yeah, also not only in music because I think you have a good fantasy for the music. I can hear you have a very lovely sound. It's the way how you touch your instrument is showing you more expressions. You understand my idea? Yeah, bravo. So try again. The beginning is a fast ball. Yeah, and then we get slower and the ball and even slower. Even slower. Bravo. Um, Eva, bravo. On the end, you press too much in the left hand. On the... Here, you press too much. Yeah? Give the lightness of the dynamic. We said piano is light energy in the bow, light energy left hand. Yeah? Try again. Excellent. Yes, this still is too strong. Still, I'm not saying if I'm, I'm not saying this has to be the music. You can also do different music. I, for example, I do a little bit different. I play, I phrase to this point. Yeah. But now we just made the decision to make a diminuendo. So try on this point. You can also change tomorrow. It's, I don't care. Yeah. But now we try this diminuendo style. So don't fight with your instrument. Let the instrument grow. Yeah? If I give too much into, it's not sounding. Yeah. I have to, to make it free. Once again. Beautiful, Eva. Beautiful. Can you feel that you get more sensitive now? Bravo. Is it a good feeling or a bad feeling? <laughs> it's a good feeling because we are musicians and we want to be sensitive. Yeah. And I, in my, in my work, I. I'm only happy if I sound well, you know, if my sound is not good one day, I'm not happy. I want always to work on a good sound. This is the first we have to do when we practice. The second step is dynamic and interpretation. And at the end, actually, you can see at the end intonation. We didn't work intonation now, but your intonation is getting better. Can you hear? When you play? Can you can you hear that you are better in tune now? 
Yes, yeah. you have the color now of the piece. We have to melt with the piano. Beautiful play. Thank you for playing beautiful the piano. We we have to melt with the piano in our intonation much more. And melt. You, you understand the word, I hope. Um, and that's your job. And this you can only do if you are sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Play again. Right foot. Have fun. Just play a little bit the piece. I will not stop you now. Okay. <laughs> have fun. From beginning. Right foot. Yes, sir. sorry, sorry, bravo. I, I, I promised you not to talk, but I talk again now. Um, excellent beginning. I want you if do you have audience people in the hall? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you ask them what I heard is the beginning was was much more beautiful. I talk about the piano beginning and um, the forte we, we work now, we will work a little bit, but the, the beginning in piano was so beautiful, a big difference to when you played before the first time. Did you feel it got better? Yes, the audience <laughs> says yeah. Yes. yes, a big change in sound, a change in dynamic, a change in uh, letting the sound into the hall. Very good, Eva. Bravo. That's a big change for half an hour. Very good. Now, can we have the one of these forte moments? Can you play one of these loud Just you, just violin. Where we stopped just before we stopped uh, these uh, the loud ones. Yes. Well, it's scratching. Okay, that's normal. That, that's that can happen. But why you have to find out why I think you are too much again, pressing into the instrument if at the end here, You're too much pushing the instrument, try to find the freedom about the bow speed, the bow speed. Just this Bravo, much better. You can ask your professor later. I like the bow ya ba 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 because ya ba ba wam. We have to be too fast on the frog. You understand? So we take three up bows and not this, but ya ba ba ba. Yes. Yes. It's easier. It's easier for the sound. We, we can control the sound better. Can you feel what I mean? Yes. Do only this. Only this. Bravo. Bravo. Um, Eva, again, it's this technique with in the bow i feel a lot of changing contact points here you play yes look i go to the backhand i call this backhand and front hand and backhand i, I walk to the backhand Good, super, super. Play again the whole phrase from the. Yes. Wow, super, <laughs> super. If I play loud, I need more space also. Means not not into, but I try to feel more space. Can you, if you, um, you can take the same passage. Play again here and feel that you are open. We call it open here. Don't make close here, but open your 
upper body a little bit and feel that you have space. Yeah? Can you play again? Когда вы играете громко, вам нужно больше места. Да? Представьте, что у вас больше. Wow! Wow! Yeah, we can hear a big difference. Also in Zoom, I hear it very good. I have a funny exercise. If I feel that I'm tensed a little bit and my sound is not good and maybe I am a little bit too hard, it changes every day. Um, I sing also. You can stand like this and you can sing while you play. It's a very funny thing. Just uh, sing as um, one note. Bum. And then you play. Can you do this once for me as an exercise? It's a bit funny in front of audience, I know, but try. Can you sing a note? Попробуйте сейчас спеть, да, для освобождения. Имеется в виду, что спеть реально. Sing a note like be very loud, just out of your body. Just sing, don't be shy, just do it. Yes, sing and play. Try. It's I look I also show you. It's not it's not a it's not long just sing a note. Любую вообще любую ноту просто чтобы освободиться. Не стесняйтесь. Try. Yeah. Okay. We don't have to do it if you don't want you didn't you didn't sing. Can you sing a note? Can you for me sing a note? Спойте для меня какую-нибудь ноту просто. Ноту просто. Да, просто. One note. Yes. And play. And play together. Play together with this note. А теперь с этой нотой пойте. Sing. Вместе, вместе, вместе. No, no, sing and play. Can you hear me? Играйте одновременно. Hard. Ah, it's already better. Bravo, you don't sing so look at me. Rom. I sing a note when I play. Try, try. Yes. Bravo. It's good exercise. Um also you can count, for example, one, two, three while you play. Because we get because we get independent, yeah? We don't control anymore. We get independent. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's Super. Whether which exercise we do, the singing or whatever, um, you play much better now the forte it's already much more sound there i i told uh, i asked you to have more space right this space we can also feel if we you cannot see me now i try to show you wait i have to install differently wait a second maybe you can see me can you can you hear me mm -hmm. yes if i want more space i go a little bit into my knees, just a little bit. You can see from the side, I go into the knee, just a little bit, like this. Yeah. Just some centimeters, and I feel more... I, and then I feel more space, you will see. Just try to go into the knees a little bit. Can you do it? Bravo. And now play very lazy, very fat, very deep, because you are in your knees. Try to feel that. And... Wow. Ask the audience. Is it louder? Is it bigger? Yes, yes. It is. It's a very funny exercise also. Singing, counting or going into the knees or feeling space will give a much bigger forte and a natural forte, a very natural feeling. Yeah? Bravo. Now, together with, together with the piano, please. Yes.
Yes. Bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Super. Um, tell me a little bit, Eva, what do you explore in this lesson? What is new? What do you feel? What is your impression about yourself? Not about me, um, but about yourself. What is your impression? I, I feel more support and uh, so when I to say, uh, when I feel the support I feel the freedom in my hands super a big change for half an hour or I don't know how far we are it's already one hour we are very intense in work um, it's a big change yeah? um, in the way how you play and you can find new interpretations because of the speech of your body, because of the speech of the hands, because of the speed of the bow. This is something you should try again, actually, now in this loud passage, because your bow speed is still too much one speed. Yeah, You should change it. If you play loud, give more. If you play soft, give less uh, bow speed, stuff like that, and feel the energy thing what i asked you also um this is changing here in this passage where you were now it's changing very fast yeah from here to there and more and less we have to touch more and less and so on you can try once again i don't know the schedule for today i have somebody told me it's albina told me um not somebody sorry albina told me that we will have um, uh, two students today is it right yes and my time is open. I don't know if you have time enough. I can just go on. Uh, I don't know. We are scheduled like one and a half hour. Is it right? Uh, I think uh, there are only uh, 45 minutes for one student. Yes, but no, we made too long. Can you do longer in Novosibirsk? Can I, can I give a little bit longer? Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we should ask uh, Albina. No. Yes, ask Albina. No. Maybe you can ask. I want a last sentence for you, if maybe we stop on this point. I am very glad that you are so open and that you listen to my ideas. Thank you for changing. Can you try again this loud passage and overdo what I told you now? Both beats. Um, you understand what I mean? And the следите за ними и именно их изменения постоянные, да, очень чувствительные. Именно они позволяют создать новые краски и создать те моменты экспрессии, моменты выразительности, которые очень нужны этой музыке. Попробуйте сейчас еще раз пассаж. Here fast bow and then we have a very slow very slow bow because it's piano, stuff like that. Okay, try. Right. Thank you very much. Um, Eva, congratulations. You made a big step today and um, in expression, in loudness, in softness, in trust to yourself, to your work. Um, we will go on one day, maybe uh, in another online lesson. Um, I'm very happy that I met you and um, I'm happy that you gave me the trust to, to let you um, yeah, change some small things. Think a lot about the sensitivity, Eva, in the hand, in the left hand, and about your standing feeling, about this position. Yeah? Forget the stability, 
don't be stable or stabil. I don't know the word in English enough. Um, be a musician, be sensitive, be couraged to try out things, be open to make mistakes also. Yeah, we will do a lot of mistakes, but that's good. It's like learning to walk. If you are a little baby, you learn to walk, you fall down, you stand up, you fall down, you stand up and you learn because of the mistakes. Okay, so bravo. Thank you very much. And see you one day, maybe um, go on to work like you do. Very good. You are sensitive and you are uh, you have a lot of feelings. I can I can even in Zoom, I can feel that. And these feelings are good. The technique you have to change. Yeah. Bravo. Hello, hello. Your name is Anna, right? My name is Anna, yeah. Yes, hello, Anna. Nice to meet you. Um, Albina wrote uh, to me, you will play Isai also and uh, the ballad, right? Yes. Yes, wonderful. Uh, tell me a little bit also about you. Немножко расскажите о вас. Я думаю, что смогу, наверное. Ну, я, я понимаю все, что они говорят. Uh, well, I study in conservatoire in Novosibirsk and... Uh, I don't know. I like to play music on violin. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, you you are in which study situation? First, second, third year? What's your? Uh, I'm third year. Third year. So you are 22, 23? 21. 21. Um, wow, you started earlier. Um, Wonderful. What? Why did you choose, or your professor and you choose the ballad for this lesson now, or for your play? What's your theme in playing the ballad? It's uh, my type of uh, temperament. temperament. Okay. Because of my temperament, uh, of, of of my temper, yes. of my character. Yes. Yes. Of my, of my yes. Character. I'm gonna hear your yes. temperament. Like yes. Like. You love the me too. Wonderful. Um. Just start, how how long do you study the piece now? Uh, about a month. Okay, good to know. I have to tune first from the poem um, Jacques. Wait a second. <laughs> Just start and um, you did you did you visit the lesson I made with Eva? Did you listen? Yes. Yes. So you already know some ideas. Maybe wait a second. Um, I'm gonna interrupt you. Okay. So don't worry if I'm, I'm stopping. I will tell you maybe some news. Uh, let's see. Okay. No problem. You know my sentence. Mistakes are okay. No problem. Right. 
Bravo, bravo. Let's go on. Let's go on to work. I already can help you on, on certain points. I hope I can help you. Um, bravo. Yes, I can feel your temperament and um, not only the temperament, but also the respect which we all have in front of playing for people, playing in a concert. Nervosity is one tema which is very interesting for you, which you should think about. You should not run away from this tema. You should use it. Nervosity is something very special and very um, comfortable, actually, because it shows that you are sensitive, that you are full of energy and you want to give your best. So don't be afraid of being nervous. I tell you this because you press a lot in not getting out of balance. Yeah, you, you try to hold yourself and this is not a good partner because the sound is manipulated and, 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 and a lot of interpretation also. So let me tell you very easy sentence. Be nervous, be sensitive, be, be just fragile for the first notes here and the second line also in pianissimo. Um, don't control your nervosity. Try to make mistakes once, just play. And if it's shaking, no problem. No problem. Just do it. It's not a problem. I tell you, really. I know this thema. I know nervosity. I was very nervous in your age. Um, I always wanted to give my best and I, I know the thema. And the best step was to accept that I'm human, sensitive, not perfect. This was very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so start again. I tell you one musical thing, which is very important. We have only piano. And a lot of people think, oh, this beginning of ballad is so misterioso. It is not really misterioso, it's warm. If you take the first note, the second and the third note, it's really only piano. So you can feel healthy in starting the beginning. Yeah. Um, then, and that's a main critique, and I'm happy that I can tell it today. It's not only you, Anna, it's every violinist I know actually is doing what he or she hears on YouTube or in internet or CD. Everyone is doing a rallentando at the end of the first line. If you read the score, you have the stringendo, yeah? And this is not stopping, it's going to the fermata. And yara bara bara di da rai. And it's not yara bara bara di da rai. It's, it's very pathetic. Everyone is doing, but sorry to say, but no one is really reading what is written. And it's a very interesting change of character. Can you try these things? Accelerando, no ritardando. If you count, yara para para Stop. Okay. Try again the beginning and piano, not pianissimo. Мы тут много, то есть стоит поговорить о волнении, да? Волнение это нормально, именно, то есть его нужно просто принять, да? Вы должны понять, что волнение это признак чувствительности, поэтому будьте чувствительны, освободитесь. Сейчас не бойтесь ошибок. Да? Освободитесь и э, не делайте э, ролентанда в конце там странно. Better try, bravo! You already made a good change of habit um, at the end. It's um, dramatic, fiery, it's not tragic. La tam pam, it's not tragic. It's like roi roi roi. It's very fiery, yes, going to, to a go. Um, dear Anna, where <laughs> where is the crescendo written? Yes, you should take your score. Yes. Yes. And dear Anna, not before. You are composing the piece too much. It's piano, the first bar and the first section until E string. On the E string, we start to make the crescendo. Please avoid to make this crescendo to change too much the character of the piece. Yeah. Try piano, 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 and then late crescendo plus stringendo.
Ja, so. Still, still, I hear, um, bravo, um, Anna, still I hear a crescendo on the A string. We do this because it's hard to grab. We want to play in tune, so we make crescendo because it's easier to find the notes. No, we have to learn from the music. Our technique, Anna, is changing because of the music. Try to play piano on A string, you know where I am, yeah? Um, do, ba, bam, ba, da, ba, dam. Now, A string, yada, wadam. Also piano. It's not getting louder. We do because of technique. Yeah? But don't do it. Your technique will improve a lot. Do it again. Yes, yeah, super. Now you can see the phrase is more logical. Can you hear? You are more, you are more strong in line now. Yeah. Can you feel what I'm? Yes. Yes. Um, still, I have to be critical on this point because you are a good musician. You still do a crescendo. I hear you louder on A string. Try to avoid it. Anna, be be clever. Um, your technique has to change. You have to get more light on the A string. Not so much contact, not so much control, just make mistakes, please, because you want to make good music. Maybe it's out of tune, no problem, but make good music, okay? And don't forget, don't forget the stringendo. La, da, da. Wow. Wow. Can you see it's technically working? It's easier. You, you reach the end also much better now. Yeah. Still, I, 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 I want to go on your nerves on this point. You play la, ra, ra, arritarando. Follow your eighth note. Yara, para, para, bi, do, do. Follow, follow your steps. Yeah. Para, 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 bi, do, do. It's more, like this. Bravo, the beginning. Wow, that's really impressing. Stop, stop, really impressing. Um, the same which I told to, to Eva before, you can try to go a little bit more to your right side. Can you stand on the right foot a little bit more in the beginning? Mostly if we come to the forte, to the acerrando moment and forte, go to the right side. You will feel less pressure in the left hand. Can you try and tell me later if you feel less pressure? Bravo. Bravo. Stop, stop, stop. Did you? Do you feel a difference? Can, can you explain me? That was very impressive play. I feel uh, like weight is on my right hand. Now. Yeah, right. Bravo. And you have more contact to your elbow here and more contact to the pinky finger, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, super. Your, your left hand now was much more flexible. It was also more sliding. Let's call it sliding. Wada, wada. Yeah, we slide more, okay? The, which is good in this beginning, yeah? Bravo. I like the change, big change, big change in expression now. Please don't forget the accelerando. I stopped this tema now here, but at home, please don't. We have to change the, the YouTube world and the CD world in playing what Isai writes and not what people are used to play. People very often, we all, we play what we hear in radio, internet. So we play the same. And if we really read the score, we, yeah, we make a lot of mistakes actually, because we just play what people play. Be very clever, read the score always, every day. That's in general. We go on now, please, go on.
Okay. 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 One little thing about this, this is pianissimo. So it's not the same like in the beginning. This The beginning can be a little bit more on a piano, which is healthy. Here we have really very sensitive um, pianissimo. Softer, please. And uh, the second thing, I, I don't see you fingering, uh, Anna. Do you play one, two? No, I one, one. Why? Why? Again, why? Yes, yes. Yes, I know, I saw it. I ask you, um, provocative, why? Why don't you play one, two? Okay, that's a good good thing. Your professor has some good ideas, I'm, I'm sure, about this. You know the fingering, one, two, is a fingering from Isai. You know that? Yeah. yeah. Stop, stop. And I want to tell you about this. Um, Isai used to be a very good and a very smart violinist in colors. Yeah, And he had some ideas taking this fingering. Um, my teachers, I, I shortly have to tell about uh, something. I learned um, Russian school, violin school. I learned French violin school and German um, American um, violin schools, all the three. And I'm very happy about this because the French and the Russian side gave me a lot of intuitions on my instrument. Um, and my French teachers in Paris, um, and on master classes, always talked also about the tema isai and fingerings. And the fingering has a special meaning. If I would play without the fingering of isai, um, I would take another fingering. I would play maybe three, two, yeah, for example, yeah, for sure. I would not take one, 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 I would make it easy and I would play three, two, right? But Isai writes in his scores, his fingering, because he wants us, you, me, to play the fingerings. This fingering has a special color. Can you hear? I have a little lament slide. There's a little slide in between, which is not the same slide like, it's another slide. Can you hear? It's a little, there's a little sound between. Ding, godoy, a little sound between. And this sound between is like the fragility of this moment. Yeah? Can you please try to play this? And your professor is right for him and his life and his um, education. I would also take the fingerings of your professor because he is um, helping you to get a better violinist. So do it, but it's just my idea, which comes from my education, you know? Okay, try. Авторская аппликатура дает особую краску и выразительность. Благодаря ей появляется интонация ламента. Nice. Look, that's so beautiful. You're very talented. Bravo. Um, it's a um, character of getting lost, lonesome. It's not taro. It's not dangerous. It's something like lonesomeness. You understand my idea? Lonesome. Sad. If I would play one one, it's like dangerous. If I play one two, I can much more show or I show that the lonesomeness of the F sharp. Can you feel that? Diminuendo lonesome. <sighs> yes, fragile lonesome. Wow, wow, that was a nice subject. Slow bow, fast bow. I do slow and and faster at the end. Yes. Wow. Did you hear? Did you hear the lonesomeness at the end? It was cold, lonesome. Try again. Wow. Wow. 
Oh, look, 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 stop, 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 stop. This is a very important point now we, where we are. We change something because it's easy because Isai says one, two. He says we have to, we have to do it. But did you hear what changed afterwards? The tension of this beautiful F sharp changed your F completely into another intensity. Did you hear that? And this is music. Music is to make a decision because a composer is writing and then to make a real sensitive decision. And then we will get a, a lot of presence later. <laughs> That's so funny about it. That was really good. Try again. No accent, no accent. Here. Can you watch my finger here? If you have the F, um, the E flat, you have this change down to the D. Um, Isai means not a shift, but we have to, um, how to say, to walk down like like on a vibrato feeling. Do you, um, I, I cannot explain. It's not D, Dom, but do you want, do you want, we change the, the sound because. We change the, it's like a roll. This also, so just into something very um, malat, sick, ill, very ill sound. Yeah. Can you try this? Yeah, Look at my hands. It's inside. Yes, and we have to save bow, save bow on E flat, and then freedom on the D. It's a so the we can go on. Yes, this this needs a lot of bow speed, right? Yeah, not a slow bow, but a faster bow. So we prepare, we prepare with this D to come to this point. Try. Wow, try again. Yes, bravo. It's only scratching because you are attacking too much. You have to let it go more it's more direction please because of the d look at my d i give direction and i can follow the direction yeah bravo dear anna stop i'm <laughs> anna stop uh, on this point, I'm a very German teacher. I'm very strict in dynamic. <laughs> I learned French. I learned Russian school. But here I'm a German and I'm making a joke. I, I think every country should be clear in reading the score. Um, we have a diminuendo. But first, after the A, the A is the most loud note in this part. Yeah, This... That's our loudest note, actually. Yeah, we have. This is forte. He stays forte. He stays forte on the until the A. Okay. Try again. Can you start here again? Wow. Bravo. Bravo. Anna, I again want to tell you why this is so important. Um, if you make this beautiful decision, which you made now, the next note is a complete different character. If you do this very loud, the next 
in diminuendo is showing something like being afraid or um uh, yeah like resignated yeah if you do what you did it was already it was already diminuendo you made too early this second part c d flat sounds like a soft invitation to a good dinner for example it's a funny picture but it's like you say oh come on we will have a nice dinner yeah if you do the decision loud here then it's much more oh oh la la fear you understand my 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 words yeah we change character because of our decisions and i think we should not make too many own decisions we should follow the composer yeah okay try again you do very good Dirom. Super, bravo, bravo, bravo. Wow. It's always so interesting for me as a teacher if I we work very good something like the beginning, we work on sound, we work on dynamic. Everything later is getting better without work. We didn't work it. We didn't play. We didn't practice. Bravo. But it was better. Sure, you're not so nervous anymore, maybe. But you just change your trust to the instrument, OK? This is very good. Um, so my dears, I think you are already too loud on the... Here, it's already too much, yeah? Because we need the high point uh, one later. Can you, can you, um, the, the arpeggio, which we have on this one, is more round, not already together, but more more round and the next one more bang more on on the head can you try um yeah 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 bravo we need a little bit e flat c together not only the c but the e flat together with the E flat, yeah? Try again. That's a question again also, a technique which I um, told to Eva, we have to work here also with your fingers more. It's not only the, the arm doing it, but it's the finger stuff which is helping us to the next side. Try that. Only the chord. And never a pressure vertical, but more horizontal feeling. More horizontal, not into the instrument. Wow. Now next one. Takadi. Bravo. Stay forte, stay forte, stay forte. Bravo, bravo. That was very beautiful. Excellent play. Don't get soft. Yeah, don't get soft on this. Uh, sorry, I'm wrong. Here. Sorry, I was wrong. Um, on the D flat, you get uh, too soft already. Stay loud. Can you start on on the C? Right. 
Bravo, your contact is not perfect on the D flat. If you here, we need a very heavy arm on the D flat here, not so much pressure on the fingers. You do a little bit too much pressure on the fingers, and then it sounds like in my play, it sounds tiny. You have to give more stability in your elbow here to have more the freedom in song. Can you try? Yes. Wow. Did you hear the uh, the difference? Yeah. When you made this, it's like a, it's like a, not a block, but it's the feeling that you cannot go deeper with the elbow. You have to bam to hold the elbow strong here, and then you can uh, develop the sound in the fingers on the on the on the on the D flat. Yeah. Wow. Um, fingering. At the end, he writes us a fingering again, which is important to the B. It's too, too. He wants us to do, um, to slide into this last note. Can you show me the original fingering? Yes. What did you make, uh, um, Anna? Which fingering did you take? You took this fingering? Yes. Ah, I didn't hear. We, uh, if he writes do you um to to, he wants us to slide. It means please, violinist, slide on this note. It's not stop, um, not stop, stop, but do you like like that? Yeah. Yes, and the tradition is to slide on the old bow. Not on the new bow, not on the new, but on the old bow. Wow, what an expression! Super, excellent. Yeah, we go on. Yes, Anna, super. Why, Anna? Now he doesn't write one, two. He writes two, two. Yes, Why? Right. Why? What is changing now? I don't know. Ha, that's your job. That's uh, like I. I I get the uh, the score that I uh, where I saw the written. Um, Fingerings, so I I simply use it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I love I love your answer. Uh, sorry. I, I your answer is super, and I that I did the same. I learned a lot of stuff when when I was uh, when I got older. Um, I also took the fingerings my professor gave me or my friend gave me or whatever. Yeah. Um, now I ask you again. Isai writes two two here, and in the first he writes one two. And here he writes us the two two. What? Why? Do you think in the, you have a lot of expression? Why do you think it's easy writing this fingering? Different intonation. Mm -hmm. Different intonation. Wow. Okay. Good. Good idea. Yes. And what else? It's about character, Anna. Right. It's about character and music. What what is maybe different character here? I don't know. It's, 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 it sounds like question. Nice. Okay. Nice. The first one sounds very sad and lonesome. We said. Okay. You you agree with that? Good. And this is a question. I like your idea. Bravo. So please, the fingering is not just to, because Isai was stupid. No, no. He wants a special, 
<laughs> he wants a he wants a special color. So please give me a question. This doesn't sound like a question. Stop. No, it sounds like fear. It doesn't sound like a question. Show me a question. Yes, better. Bravo. So we have the open tendency here. It's not closing, it's opening, right? It's not like closing, but it's more opening. Yeah? Wow. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Um, what, um, you can remember what I told to Eva. I just want to tell you also, um, I don't want to repeat now, but you should also work a lot on this question of bow speed. If you play softer, have a slower bow. If you play louder, have a faster bow. Um, if you vibrate in forte, it can be more fire. If you vibrate in piano, it can be slower. And, and, and I just want to repeat this for your work at home. Now here, um, again, a dynamical thing is very interesting. He's changing now. He's making a very early diminuendo, right? Here. How does the piece end? The, 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 this moment end? If we have the... Uh, sorry, I'm wrong. At the end... How does he end? What is the character? After the question. Yes, bravo, bravo. He's ending with comfortability or with something not comfortable. How does he end? Is it comfortable? The no, exactly. So the question is a very good thing, but it's it's not leading into a solution. You understand? I'm always thinking in, uh, in in music, in characters, yeah, in stories. So we have the question, which you play very beautiful, and then we want the solution, but we don't get a solution. Okay? Can you play again? Actually, we have fear here. It's not something safe. We have something open. Fear, yeah. And then he's saying, no, no. And then upbeat, yes. Super. Um, I'm very strict in dynamic. Read what he writes. Dear um, Pianissimo. It's pianissimo. You do a big crescendo. Already here. No, he doesn't write it. He gives it. Here, he, we have the crescendo, but not before. Can you try again? Yes, look at this point. Bravo. Look at the point. We have a very slow bow on this. Very slow, no crescendo. Not already something but slow bow. And then he gives us the speed. He writes a sforzato, not on the head, but later. Can you see that? It's like I play. Can you hear? Can you hear that? And all these things, um, Anna, 
all these little things are so important for you because it will make you much more interesting as an artist. Otherwise, you play like, let's say everyone is playing and uh, it's it doesn't reach the text which we have to read. It's another expression. Do you understand? Yeah? So, please. Sarsan написала не в начале ноты, а в ее середине. Это дает совсем другой выразительный эффект. Yes. Yes, super. Super. I, I, I was waiting for the next note. Yeah. Wow. You change the world. You change character. And now I heard uh, Isai crying. There he was really crying. Before it was like it was like a tartan, you know, like somebody very comfortable saying yes, yes, yes. No, it's it's a crying moment. This forzato, the late is a cry. And then this is hurt. Much more like hurt, you understand? Yes. hurt, because you are crying. Yeah. Once again. Это больная плачущая интонация, а не сильная. Вау. Bravo, bravo. Um, I think I would love to work with you now longer and longer and even with Eva, but we have to stop now. I can see on my time we have nearly two hours now. Um, you made a very good job and you really understood very good what I'm talking about because it's changing. I could hear the changes in sound and vibrato in concentration. You have a very wild temperament. Yeah. You are very wild inside, but you have to focus this to the score. Your inside temperament is beautiful. It's very important, but focus with your brain, what you read and try to find the right expressions or the right colors and then really ask your technique to change because of this because you have an idea just don't play only because it's comfortable you know if it's comfortable i would always play forte <laughs> so, I, so i would i would only feel everything in forte and a lot of vibrato every no i would play like this maybe i would feel better but i learn and you too and we all musicians we learn from the composer we learn to find new colors. We have to. I showed you a lot of examples. The late sforzato, the fingering changes, stuff like that. Yeah. Also, you should take the exercises which I gave to Eva. I think it's generally very important for verteilung uh, the how do you say the, the yeah the positions in the hand, and also the thing which I talked about the energy um, left and right. Um, work on stuff like that because you also have the tendency to press a little bit too much with your left hand. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Always, because you are afraid of making a mistake. Yeah? And this is a good but not necessary. Just do a lot of mistakes when you practice because you learn to get better because of that. Okay. Thank you very much, Anna. Very I much. hope I hope I could help you. Um, thank you to the audience. I don't see the audience. And thank you for the translation, wonderful translation. Thank you to your pianist. And one day, I'm sure we will see each other again somewhere, maybe on a masterclass, whatever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. It was a pleasure to be in Novi Zibir. We are seeing you soon. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.